Okay, let's take a real good look. I see y'all see we back. Y'all like, where you at? I didn't see you in about a week or two, a week or two. You know, hey, my videographer had things to do. You know, he got a lot of stuff going on. Y'all need to holler at him too, because we just world is for real. We gonna help promote everybody. We ain't just talking about me, we talk about him too. But listen, it's the book, it's your boy. We talking real life conversation, but dig the shenanigans. This is what we're gonna say right now. We're in the last part of perception. I want you to think about this for one moment. Let your mind sit back, relax, you know, strap in this normal, grab your walkers, lock them in. This was going on. You ever had a thought, but it was your thought, but in your mind, you felt like, I need to share it. Remember, we still talk about perception. You ever been in church and somebody be there, and you know, they go there, they be their little testimony, and they're like, well, God put a song on my heart. So, I think I'm singing. But see, this is a question I had to ask somebody, like, when he put the song on your heart, did he say it was a community song? Did he say you need to come to church and sing the song? Did he put the song on your heart for you to help you understand something? Because a lot of times we want to share stuff that ain't supposed to be shared. Your visions, your dreams, your accomplishments, your goals. Some things ain't supposed to be shared. But your perception is, if I tell everybody about it, it's going to help me look better. It's going to make me be a better, brighter person. It's going to influence them in some form or fashion. No, it ain't my guy. Dig this. Stop it with the shenanigans. Hold your britches. That's not what it is. When somebody gives you something or you got a goal or a dream, everybody ain't supposed to know because the problem is everybody don't see what you see. There's different levels in life. You can get to a level where you're cool, you're comfortable, but there's always more ways to climb. You can be with somebody and be like, bam, this is the right person for me. But if they're not trying to help you reach that next level, why would you bother with them? Again, it's your perception. You looking at that life through one tunnel vision. Me, I want to look all the way around the room. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like, like I'm breakdancing or something. I just want to keep looking around. Like, what's going on? See somebody behind me? I want to know him there. I want to know him right there. You got to move around and see what's going on at all times because I can look at things the way I look at them. You can look at things the way you look at them. But if we can come together and have a mutual agreement, we can blow up to where we want to be. Because we think about it. Everything starts small, but it's got to get bigger. Only way it gets bigger is by your actions. I can sit up and talk all day long about, I want to write a book. I should have wrote a book. I'm thinking about writing a book, but you ain't wrote it. Oh, I want to write a song. I could have wrote a song. I should have wrote a song. You ain't wrote a song. You might not be able to sing, so maybe that might not be your ministry to be singing. You might want to just stay and be on the usher board or something because everybody ain't called to the singing ministry. You might get up there and Lord be like, we're going to put you in the back of the choir I'm like why ain't no mics back here because they don't want to hear you sing because we know you can't sing you know you can't sing but you want to sing a song listen whole point of the matter is think about stuff that you're doing but look at it realistically is this going to work for me can i really accomplish this or better yet, don't even say can i accomplish it like how am i going to accomplish it look at yourself and say well there's nothing that i can't do but what do i really want to do what do i desire to do we don't think about those things we don't sit back and be like hmm do i really want to write a book or would I rather be the person who produces and publishes books? Or would I rather be in the background? Would I rather be a rapper? Or would I would be the person who edits the music or edits the videos or puts them together and collaborates stuff? Because a lot of times it's the dudes in the background got that guap. Just because he out front, he got that check. That check got to get paid back. And guess where the money go back to? That dude in the background. My man's back there eating. He upstairs. Uh, heart flavor, flavor, and stuff. He ain't got it like that. He renting them cars because the man who in the background let him use his car. Real life, look at what you want to do. Think about how you want to do it, but then go for it. And don't tell everybody about everybody about it because everybody can't have your dream and your vision. Believe me, nobody wants to see you more successful than me. But you gotta want it more than I do because I can't want more for you than you do. Real talk. Hey, we on the stoop again. I'll let your boy, y'all already know what it is, mustbemebook.com, get your copy. What I'm talking about enlightening and growing to help you get some place you need to be, <laughs> you'll mess around and find it like, dang, I never looked at it like that. Clarice, now I understand what's going on. This is Reality Check. Think about it. Realistically, get yourself together, get your copy, and then look at you. Till next time, I'll let your boy, mustbemebook.com, take your holla at you, baby.